Welcome! In this video, I'll introduce every effect plugin in FL Studio. We'll start with EQs and go through all the effects categories, ending with specialized effects. If you're wondering whether a plugin is included in your edition of FL Studio, keep an eye on the lower screen. Now then, let's talk about Fruity Parametric EQ. Fruity Parametric EQ is a CPU-friendly 7-bun parametric equalizer plugin. We can do bigger and better. Fruity Parametric EQ2 has all of the features Parametric EQ has, but is also an advanced equalizer plugin with variable slopes for all bands and a frequency analyzer. It has a standard infinite impulse response or minimum phase mode and an advanced linear phase or fast Fourier transform mode that allows fast parameter changes not normally possible with conventional linear phase filters. <laughs> Or how about a graphic EQ? EQO is an advanced morphing graphic equalizer plugin. Equalizing is the process of increasing or decreasing the loudness of specific frequencies. EQO is particularly suited to live or automated tweaking during a performance. The main display contains both EQ controls and per band panning controls so that sounds can not only be shaped according to frequency content, but panning can be applied on specific frequency basis. And for when you need that special sauce, Fruity Bass Boost is a bass enhancing EQ. You may need to adjust the track volume to avoid clipping, since this EQ only works additively by boosting frequencies. Triton bass and kick drum sounds. Fruity Convolver can also be used as an EQ, but we'll look at that when we get to reverbs. We'll move on to the filters now. Fruity Filter is optimized for automation. Being a state variable filter, its low pass, band pass, and high pass work in parallel. Fruity Free Filter is a general purpose filter plugin. It has all the filter modes of parametric EQ to choose from. And for those that need it all in one plugin, Fruity Love Filter is the most powerful filter plugin in FL Studio. It consists of eight identical filter banks, each able to be run in parallel or used in series by sending a filter unit to the next one in the chain. Powered by modulation envelopes, Love Filter can create complex filtering effects, pumping sidechain volume envelopes, and long sequenced panning volume and filter patterns. <laughs> Now, let's check out the multi-FX. Destructor is a modular plugin that aggregates 18 distortion models. Then it adds the 22 filter models and three choruses and wraps it all in speaker cabinets based on impulse responses. Effector provides 12 performance-oriented effects that can be used one at a time. The large center XY pad can be linked to controllers for expressive control or used with a touch interface. <laughs> Hardcore gives you virtual access to 11 tried-and-true guitar pedal effects. 
It also includes a number of impulse responses from popular Qatar cabinets. Next up is Dynamics. We'll start with everyone's favorite. Soundgodizer is a stereo maximizer enhancer plugin based on the Maximus sound processing engine. The four settings A, B, C, and D are accessible as presets in Maximus. I'll turn this one on in the middle of the demo so you can hear what it does. The Fruity Limiter is a single band dynamics processor combining a compressor with a sidechain input, a gate, and a limiter. For this example, I'll show off the sidechaining, and if you listen to the bass, it's doing moderate maximization on that. Fruity Compressor is a simple compressor plugin with a built in brick wall limiter at zero decibels. Compression is a form of automated volume control, meaning that when the signal goes over a threshold value, it's turned down. Fruity Compressor has come to fame for its colorful sound when overcompressing. Watch what happens to the bass in this one too. Fruity Multiband Compressor is a three-band stereo compressor using Butterworth Infinite Impulse Response or Linear Phase Finite Impulse Response filters to separate the incoming signal into three bands for processing. Optionally, there's an output limiter. Maximus is a three-band multiband dynamics processor with unlimited control over the compression envelope. It can do gating, upwards and downwards compression and expansion, limiting and saturation. The crossover frequencies can be standard minimum phase or new and approved linear phase filters. All three bands are processed in parallel and are summed in a master wideband dynamics processor that can function as the elusive mix glue. Transient Processor is a dynamics processing plugin. Use it with high attack settings to give extra snap or punch to drum sounds, or with high release settings to increase the apparent loudness or weight of percussion, vocals, or any other sound where you would normally use a compressor. Transient processing is a lot more forgiving and you will find it simple to sculpt the sound in the way you want. Nice. Now, let's talk distortion. Fruity Fast Dist is a CPU-friendly distortion effect. Try using this plugin on bass and kick drum sounds for a grittier and punchier effect. Fruity Soft Clipper is a CPU-friendly soft limiter. Soft limiting avoids clipping by applying gentle, soft knee compression to the input signal. It is worth noting that soft knee compression will cause analog style saturation effects when the signal level exceeds the threshold level. Fruity Squeeze is a bit reducing, distortion and filtering plugin. Fun fact, Deadmau5 developed the UI on this one. Fruity Squeeze will add a gritty tonal character to input sounds and is particularly effective when applied to drum loops. <laughs> Fruity Wave Shaper is a wave distortion effect which maps input to output values using a flexible graph. Fruity Blood Overdrive creates overdrive distortion using classic techniques that give compressed and soft sounds, as opposed to the harsh sounds that can be typical of digital processing. Now, just because you can, doesn't mean you should use all these amazing distortions at once. Moving swiftly on, modulation. Fruity Phaser is a low CPU phaser plugin. Phasing is one of those effects that's hard to describe, but the sound is instantly recognizable.
fruity flanger. It flanges. Flanging sounds similar to phasing with a more chorusy sound. Fruity flangers allows you to enrich the stereo panorama of your mix, add complex flange effects, and simulate unison mode synthesis via a set of controllable stacked flanges. You can set how many flanges you want here. Fruity Chorus makes single sounds sound wider and many. Chorusing is created by the slight detuning of one or more delayed copies of the input sound, similar to a choir of voices. Controls adjust the rate, time offset, shape and depth of detuning. Okay, let's look at reverbs. These create the sound rooms have. Think of a concert hall, bathroom or cave. Yeah, that sound. In the 1950s through 1980s, reverb effects were made by putting a speaker and microphone in an empty room, gluing speakers to metal sheets or springs and all sorts of mechanical shenanigans. Fruity reverb's parameters allow you to simulate different types of acoustic spaces. More control and realism. Fruity Reverb 2 can create lush and smooth modulated reverberations of up to 20 seconds duration and is the most sophisticated reverb in the FL Studio stable. Fruity Convolver uses recordings of real spaces, known as impulse responses, to create an exact replica of the sound they make. Clap your hands in a bathroom or hall and you will get the idea. Convolution not only captures reverberations, but can also create special effects or linear phase EQ. And now, closely related delays. Think echo. echo, echo, echo. Fruity Delay 2 is a simple time sync delay plugin with a low pass filter in the feedback path. Come on, 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 come on. Fruity Delay 3 is an advanced analog style delay plugin. Its delay time parameter can be automated and it can perform tempo sync delay when the project BPM is changing. It includes filtering and distortion options for the delay echoes and can be driven into self oscillation or feedback for special effects. This can quickly go out of hand. Move me. Yikes. Fruity Delay Bank is a powerful multi delay slash filter plugin. It has eight delay units that can be used in parallel or serial by using the next control in the output panel. There are two multi mode filters per delay unit one inside the feedback path and the other one pre or post delay. All right, we're through all the traditional categories, but there are a few effects in FL Studio that almost defy categorization and we'll tackle them now. Fruity Vocoder. Vocoding is the process of taking the frequency modulation of one sound and applying it to another. Simply put, you can make a synth talk. Oh, yeah. Vocodex is the last word in vocoders. Featuring stereo processing, advanced articulation envelopes, integrated carrier synthesizer and sound goodizer maximizer, vocoder envelope control and up to 100 variable width multi-parameter vocoder bands. <laughs> Pitcher is a real-time pitch correction, manipulation and harmonization plugin that can correct and harmonize under MIDI control from a keyboard or the piano roll. Maybe do you wanna dance with me? Oh yes, do you? You wanna dance with me? Oh yes, do you? Yes, do you? Yes, do you? Frequency Splitter allows you to separate audio into low and high, 
or low, mid and high frequency bands. Bands can then be routed to independent audio outputs for advanced multiband effects processing. And finally, grow speak. Do you want to dance with me? Oh, yes. Dance with me. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Gross Beat is hugely popular and is a real-time audio stream playback pitch, position and volume manipulation effect. You could say it allows you to master the art of time itself. So you made it through. Well done. Now I can already hear someone typing this isn't all the effects in the comments. You would be right. There are more traditional effects like 7 band EQ, Fruity Delay and Fruity Fast Low Pass. But they are considered legacy plugins and these days remain in FL Studio for compatibility with older projects. They have been superseded by the plugins we covered. I hope you've enjoyed this overview of all the effects plugins in FL Studio. Check the video information for links to the FL Studio manual and the projects I made for this video. And hopefully this helps you keep making awesome music.